before starting the video i just want to tell you that now i'm doing game rental slash offline activation service basically any game you can imagine uh, i have that like call of duty modern warfare 1 2 3 star wars jedi survivor avatar Phantoms of pandora and many more so if you are interested in that you can comment down below or join my discord and come to the particular group hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another it is a three update video we are back with uh, Tekken 8 version 1.03 previously my video was on 1.02 so uh, why i'm making this video because there are lots of changes uh, in the mod and the tutorial like uh, if you have an rtx card you can now use dlss 3.7 with the game uh, which i will show you in a second and also you can use the uniscalar 5 previously we were using luke fz's uh, 10.4 zip so now we can use uniscalar 5 in this game and with that also you can use the fps unlocker tool because the previous uh, unlocker tool was not compatible with 1.03 like if you have uh, played uh, the previous uh, unlocker tool the game will show you that uh, the mod is not yet compatible with this version please update so yeah the update is here so yeah we're going to show everything in this video so this is going to be a little bit longer and going to be interesting interesting video so try to stick with the video and let's begin without any delay so first of all we're going to paste the dlss 3.7 if you have an rtx card so in order to do that uh, we're going to extract the dlss 3.7 into the folder then we're going to go to the installation directory of Tekken 8 which is here then we're going to go to the engine uh, plugins marketplace dlss and then you can just follow along the path there is only single folders so when you open uh, at the last of the folder you will see dlss is already here so in order to do that uh, you can just make a backup of this dlss uh, which is uh, you can just create a backup path i have already done that like you can create a backup path and uh, drag that uh, old original backup to a backup folder and then uh, which zip we have extracted we can just uh, drag the zip uh, to the uh games folder and we can just replace the dlss file by this method uh, you can just replace the dlss 3.1 to dlss 3.7 uh, so yeah for those who don't know the game by default uses a dlss 3.1 so we have now replaced it to use dlss 7 and first we're going to show you the fps uh, unlocker tool because if we use the uni5 uh, with the dlss 3.7 the dlss won't be used uh, the fsr will be used so yeah first we're going to show you the um, fps unlocker tool and then we're going to paste the uni5 so yeah let's start the video now uh, let's start the game now sorry <coughs> okay we are uh, back in the game and uh, fps is still uh, locked to 60 because i have not activated the mod uh, so i will uh, show you that but uh, before that if anyone wants uh dlss 3.1 versus 3.7 gameplay you can comment down below uh, i will make a video on that too so yeah uh, while in the main menu we're just going to minimize the game and go to the uh, zip folder uh, like taken 8 overlay uh, we're going to extract it to the desktop sorry it's get minimized again so we're going to open the folder and in the folder uh, you can see uh, there are uh, total three to four files so we're going to copy everything and uh, you can do this by while the game is running no need to close the game and do this so we're going to the installation directory like where the polaris.264 is shipping is located we're going to paste everything right here now after pasting we're just gonna run the taken overlay.exe so we have run the taken overlay.exe now we come back to the game uh, one thing i forgot uh, my settings are currently on wait i will show you so my settings are currently on uh, high everything is on high and dlss is on quality and uh, you can see uh, that ps is now has unlocked so for new time uh, for first time using uh, your uh, the game will show something a ui like this so in this ui you can tweak like almost uh, everything like the ps the um, quality the anti-aliasing everything like customer 
uh, sorry uh, custom character lighting and everything so i'm not going to mess around uh, uh, you can explore this setting but i'm just going to show you the fps uh, option like here you can set your custom fps like if you are having heating issue but still you want to play above 60 fps you can maybe just set it to 90 and just click on set fps and you can see that the fps will be set to 90 so i don't have any heating issue so i'm going to uh, set it like on 144 because i'm using a 144 as monitor and then you can just click on save and in i don't know how you can minimize this uh, uh, taskbar you can just click on the setting icon and it will get like reduced to this size but you cannot totally hide it like right now uh, if there is a bit i will uh, post it on discord so yeah uh, after that we're just going to maybe uh, play something uh, uh, previous mod was only limited to 120 but uh, with this one you can go to like uh, above 120 and uh, to like uh, whichever uh, limit your gpu can push like up to 300 fps but uh, for me uh, my gpu gives me like around 120 to 130 fps so yeah we're just gonna select the new champion Get ready for the next battle. Okay, the PS is a little lower because uh, I am recording on 4K with that my uh, AI noise noise cancellation app is running in the background. That's also takes some RTX power, uh, like RTX broadcast app. So that's why PS is a little bit lower. But generally, I get around 100 and. 20 to 130 fps so yeah if you have a uh, raw gpu horsepower you can uh, use this fps unlocker tool to play at higher fps uh, you can also uh, use the uniscalar mod uh, i will also press that so yeah this is the fps unlocker tool compatible with uh, 1.03 and yeah now we are going to try the um, uniscalar 5 so yeah let's start that So first we're going to quit the game then we're going to close the dlss uh, fps unlocker tool uh, then we're going to extract the uniscalar 5 and then copy everything uh, except the uniscalar folder uh, copy these three files uh, and uh, on md gpu if you face crashing issue uh, you will need to paste these two files like as always i have told you again and again so we're going to copy these three files for now we're going to go to the same installation location of the game like where the polaris 264 shipping is located so that's like uh, taken eight after that uh, polaris binaries win64 and we're going to paste the unisclear files here now we're going to just run the game and one thing again uh you cannot use uniscalar and the fps unlocker together you will face some kind of error so yeah, yeah you can only use one at a time so you don't need to remove these files you can just keep them inside like the overlay files you can just keep them inside but just just don't run them while you are using this msr 3 mod like uniscalar <coughs> okay we are back in the game and for some reason uh, nvidia shadow play stopped recording so now i am recording using the obs let me reduce the sound a little bit okay so as you guys can already see there is a little bit uh, hood flicker here and there uh, so in order to fix that uh, you will need to go to the option then graphics setting then you will see dlss here you just need to set it to nis uh, with the rendering resolution to 100 and then go back to the main menu and uh, roam around a few seconds uh, 10 to 20 seconds and then come back to the setting again and then go to the graphics and just switch it on dlss again and you can see that uh, okay it's still there it's like a trial and error so sometime it's gets fixed instantly sometime it's uh, not so yeah we're going to try something again uh, like we're going to set it on fz2 first uh, then we're going to that set it on dlss again you will eventually fix this like uh, yeah now it's fixed so yeah there is a little uh, trial and error type of issue so yeah we're just going to now jump into a uh, match and show you the fps uh, which we are getting with this uh, fsr 3 mod like uniscalar 3 5 sorry Get 
and ready for the next battle. Okay, we are uh, back in the match and as you can see uh, the PS is uh, locked to 120. It's not going above 120 because uh, uh, with this uh, Uniscalar mod uh, you cannot go below 120 in-game. Uh, but uh, it's still uh, very good, uh, no hood flicker uh, anywhere. Uh, and you can see a little bit shimmering on the hairs and like on the feathers of the llamas in the background. Because it's not actually DLSS, it's actually FSR 3. So if you want to use a DLSS 3.7 on your RTX card, you need to use the uh, FPS Unlocker tool, not the Unius Color 5 mod. Uh, so yeah, um, if this video helps you, uh, this will be it guys. Uh, if this video helps you, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you face any kind of issue, you can comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you. Cheers.